Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is the source code that we were looking at in the last video, just printing uh, simply hello world on the screen. So just to you know, just make sure we're still on the same page, if we run this program, yeah, it has all the same nonsense up here and nonsense down here, but it's printing hello world. So what if we wanted to print, um, let's say, hello in quotation marks and then world? This is going to be a little bit more tricky. So well, if we just simply write it here, like that. We're going to try and run this program and we're going to see what happens. Um, so what's happening here, it's highlighting it and saying, well, there's an error here. This isn't really making a lot of sense. Um, I know that's because when C++, the compilers come down and they see a quotation mark here. Let's just delete these for now. Um, it's going to see C out first of all and say, okay, I'm going to print something on the screen or send something to the screen. Not necessarily print it, but when it sees here there's a quotation mark, it's like, okay, this is a string, and so I'm going to have a string of characters that I'm going to, you know, print. In this case, it's two words and a space and a sign, you know, a, a symbol here. And then when it prints all these characters to the screen, it's going to see the ending quotation mark and it's going to stop. And then it's going to keep going, and then it's going to, well, it's going to send end line to the screen. So, for example, what if we put the quotation mark here instead? Well, when we run this version, let's look and see what happens. Okay, so what it's doing is printing hello world, but then it's printing, you know, end line, and um, that's just not what we want, right? And then it's not even ending the line because it's, you know, literally printing these characters, you know, on in like a sentence. So that's not what we want. Um, so let's just put the quotation mark back in the appropriate place, um, and now end line, um, you know, will be not a string of characters, and it will actually just be this end line thing when it has a purpose in C++, and, you know, we won't have any problems anymore. So, back to how to put hello in quotation marks. What we do in this case is we use a, an escape sequence, uh, and what we do, how we do that is we do a backslash, and then the quotation mark. And then here again, we can write backslash and then the quotation mark. So this just kind of provides us with an exception. Um, we're saying we know quotation marks usually have this purpose, but we're gonna we're gonna just avoid that, you know, and you know, ignore that capability of them and look what we get. It's printing hello in quotation marks and then world. So that's cool. That's exactly what we wanted. Um, now another thing we can do with a, an escape sequence is instead of writing end line, sometimes this, you know sometimes we don't want to or it just doesn't really make sense or something like that um, instead of writing the insertion operator and then end l what we can do is within a string we can do a backslash and then an n and this is just another escape sequence that just um, within a string if you write it like that it's going to have the exact same effect as putting end line you know afterwards so here we go it printed hello world and logout is definitely on the next line all right, so there's another um, there's another escape sequence we should just talk about. Um, for some reason, maybe if you want to actually print a backslash on the screen, um, because backslashes have this um, special purpose. So what we want to do is we want to print the first one to give it the exception, and then the second one, um, it's just going to literally print that. Uh, hopefully, if this works. So let's go ahead and there we go. We you know we're seeing this backslash now. Not that it makes sense to write it this way but you see that it's you know it's possible to do it that way so the other thing I'll just talk about really quickly here is writing comments so everything we've been talking about before is the compiler is coming down and reading keywords and strings and things and it's you know building a program but maybe we have a more complicated program say um, well we've been dealing with a pretty much a one line program but what if we went like this uh, whoops <laughs> um, so say we have this old program here and it's got about looks like seven lines in it. You know, this is just an example that our programs could be a lot more complicated. Um, and we, you know, we built this a year ago and we come back and we see like, well, what are all these lines doing? I have no idea. So it's a good idea. Um, you know, it's to write comments, and so that's just for people to read, not actually the compiler. So the way we do that is if we want to write a one-line comment, we write two slashes and then we can write, hey, this is our comment. Yes, this program writes, uh, runs, writes, you know, seven lines of the same thing. So if we go ahead and run that, um, let's look and see what happens. Um, here we go. So, yeah, it prints this thing like seven times or so, um, but we're not seeing this, hey, this is a comment stuff. You know, that's not showing up in a program. That's exactly what we want. This is just reminders for us. Um, if it's more complicated, we can, you know, just give reminders and things like that. Um, now, what if we wanted more than one line? 
Well, if we bump this down, you know, to several lines, something like this, um, we're seeing that, you know, it's not green anymore. And if it's green, that's just kind of like the flag that's saying, yep, this is a comment. But here, well, this is going to mess up. This is going to give us a ton of errors. So what we can do is we can, we can comment out each line like this, right? And then, you know, this won't show up again in our compiler. Or that's kind of messy um, or just, you know, time consuming. So the other thing we can do here is if we have a multi-line comment, what we can do is we can do slash star. And so this opens our comment. And here it's just commented everything out, um, but we don't want to do that. Uh, so to close it, we just do the kind of opposite. We do star, oops, star, slash, and there we go. So now we have this multi-line comment. So when we go and run our program, there we go. The comment's not coming up, but we have these hints as to, you know, what to do with the program or how it works and stuff like that. All right, I'll see you in the next video, and uh, we'll start talking about how to do some math with C++.